name is Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we'll be talking about how many gallons of water your koi needs. Now, this can be a little hard to start the discussion when your fish is cute and tiny like this. Yes, koi start very, very small. Um, again, it's how all fish start from a tiny little egg. So you didn't think a fish like this would need at least 250 gallons per this. Well, what's going to happen is this guy's going to grow. So this guy's about a standard 12 inch koi. Now, again, most koi probably get about this big. Uh, we're not even going to talk about those of you who keep koi in tanks. Uh, that is just a huge mistake. We're going to have a stunting video coming out later. But you know, this little 12 inch koi can get up to a, say, two foot long koi. And again, this is, well, it's not the exact same fish, but a lot of koi and a lot of carp species have an exponential ability to grow very, very large. And what started out as that cute little tiny fish is now a giant behemoth. So this is the reason you need 250 gallons per koi, because out what starts out all cute and little, like this is eventually going to get this big. Now, if you haven't planned ahead and say you have a really tiny pond, where sure, you got a lot of, you know, little tiny fish, maybe some about this size, I mean, for a couple years, that'll be fine. But then suddenly you have these guys and these guys just taking over. And once they're packed in there like sardines, what are you gonna do? Um, it's very, very hard to home a giant fish. There's really not a lot of ponds that have the extra room. A lot of them, most of them, are overstocked as it is. So when we say 250 gallons per koi, again, remember this is going to grow to this size. This is a very big fish. Now if you have a pregnant female koi, up to half this body mass can be eggs and eggs require a ton of energy and a ton of oxygen. So you're gonna need a lot of water to breathe if you're a big pregnant mama koi. So 250 gallons minimum. If you go over, that's great. You can have 500 gallons per fish, 1,000 gallons per fish, even better. It will save a strain on your filtration, make your water quality easier to manage, but 250 gallons per koi, minimum, or eh, we'll probably be seeing you when you have lots of fish packed in like sardines. So hopefully that answers some of your questions regarding koi care and keeping. If you have any more questions about any sort of fish health issues, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.